Hey guys, uh, it's Richard again. I am just sitting out in my lounge room on my computer, um, looking at more um, updates for the new Japanese Godzilla movie, which I am so psyched, man. It's like, you know, two years after the, well, it's meant to come out in 2016 this year, so. It said uh, July 29th. I just watched the teaser trailer and I'm like, Wow, are we actually literally going to see a, 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 an actual remake to the original film? Oh man, I am so looking forward to it. I mean, I I like the new American version, definitely. I, I, I actually liked it. But it's going to be really good to see a new Japanese one. Especially if it's going to be a remake to the actual original film. Yeah, I'm hoping, man, that they actually do like, uh, like a franchise... Like a, like a, like, remakes of the original films. Um, I'm ho I, I, okay, this is just me, so you might want to punch me in the face a bit for this, but I, um, I hope that they don't remake all the old 60s and 70s ones, but actually remake all of the, uh, the second series. Like, that would be fucking, for me, it would be fucking amazing to see... A fucking remake of The Return of Godzilla. Because, like, The Return of Godzilla, man, that's my favourite fucking film. Like, of the Godzilla series. That was the first Godzilla film I ever fucking saw. I was, like, four years old, man. But it was the, um... Ugh. Give me a sec, guys. I need to... I'll go and get it. Get back here. Ah, oh, fuck. Something fell over. Who cares? I'll pick it up later. The uh, it was the uh, 1985 US re-edit that I saw with Raymond Burr. Now a lot of people don't actually like this one as much as the Japanese version, but I actually love it more because, of course, it's what I grew up with, and um, it's more scarier. But even the original Japanese version is scary. Like, it's the only, it's, it's actually the only Godzilla film that literally makes you think you're watching a horror film. Like, it is literally spooky. Like, in the, he, this guy's on the boat and the ship and he turns around, he turns a chair over, this guy's sitting on it, and it's just a fucking mummified, like he's been mummified and he's dead. Spooky, man, and the music, like, like fucking hell. But that'll be fucking amazing if we actually see, like, a remake to The Return of Godzilla. Or in this case... 1985. I do have the whole box. Well, not the box there, but I, I built a box. I don't know if you about to see it. That little box right there with the two mugs on top. A little small one. I, I made that box for all my Godzilla films. I can't fit them all in there, of course. So I've got, like, in, in the shelf behind me, I've got, like, what I have of the English dub versions. So, yeah. And I have the Return of Godzilla. It was the universe. Like, it was... Hong Kong release, which there's a website that I found out about, uh, Sumo Gorilla, which I am going to, it's a bootleg, a copy of course, but it has the original Japanese version, and it has the um, English dub version in proper sound, 5.1 and all that. Yeah, I've been rambling too much on about Godzilla 1985. This is probably the first time you guys have actually ever seen that I'm a big fan of Godzilla. So yeah, I... I'm rambling too much on about the Return of Godzilla, but I am fucking hoping we I, we see a remake to that as well. That will be fucking great. But I'm going to I don't know, but if I can, I'll try to post a link to the teaser trail to the new Godzilla. But if I can't do it on the description, just find me on Facebook, Richard Tannerhan. That's my Facebook name. You should see it. I'm going to do the poster as well. So I'm fucking looking forward to it, and I'm hoping it ain't a hoax. Catch you guys later.